we had the makings of disaster in our middle grade schools. Whatever kids we were going to lose, we lost them in the middle school. None of the schools were Wi-Fi. And yet we were telling kids, here's the new economy, and you've got to master all these things, but there was no support. So we could literally see the future disaster ahead of us. Half of our population, they're English learners. In addition to that, we have the highest percentage of socially, economically disadvantaged students, so poor kids. You don't meet the needs of every single student every single day. I mean, let's just be honest, it's impossible. But one thing I really am proud about in San Francisco Unified is that our goal is to make that impossibility a reality, to meet everyone's needs. We're a better city. Uh, we are a creative city. We're the innovation capital of the world. What do you do as the innovation capital of the world? Well, you create the conditions for a world-class public education system. I still remember Mark Benioff asking, so tell me what Nirvana is. If you could recreate the entire system, what would that be? You know, we as educators are almost conditioned not to ask for too much, because you'll be disappointed. So to have somebody sit at the table and say, that's not big enough. Let's talk about the whole thing was incredibly transformative. It, it, it took me back. We haven't been asked to really think without limits. It has been a fantastic partnership. What Salesforce has done for us, it's just been phenomenal to be able to provide that opportunity for kids that don't have that at home. With technology, we usually have hands-on experience, which makes the memories a lot more vivid. The fact that they're actually integrating it into our schools and education, I think that's just so wonderful. We talk about having students find their spark, that one thing that ignites that passion for what they're going to do. If we can find a way to really ignite each individual student, especially in middle school, then we've hooked them all the way through the rest of their high school education and beyond. It helps me feel excited. I get to learn about all these cool apps, how technology works. The best part of our work is watching a kid's eyes light up when they put together a few pieces of code and something actually works. It's amazing. I had a sixth grader say, I can do this. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> and so that enthusiasm is incredible. One of the things that is most important with our partnership with Salesforce is that it's not just about the equipment, it's about the people, it's about the professional development. So to go into classrooms and see many, many students engaged, it tells me it's working. It's not only the money, but it's the volunteers and the Salesforce workers actually coming into the classrooms. Building that relationship, I don't think you can put a price tag on that. Our hope is that people are paying attention to what's happening in the San Francisco schools. We think there is something special going on. This really reflects a success of a city that is a world-class city. I think that we're creating conditions for generations of talent to be born in the city. Personally, having entered the public school system speaking only Spanish, I was an English language learner. And the statistics are pretty dire for English language learners. But I remember the first time that a teacher actually said to me, Richard, you, you're going to college, right? That was my spark. Salesforce being the first to say we believe in you, that partnership has been the spark for our school system. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I do get emotional. Um, I get emotional because I, I see myself um, I, was a, I was an English language learner myself, and uh, so it's very personal to me. I know now that when the kids come in and they leave in the eighth grade, they're leaving from a good house. There's like barely any women in certain you know, fields, and I want to be the one to like break that barrier. Every single one of my students has an amazing story. They're the people that are gonna find the cure for cancer. They're the people that are gonna end the wars. They're the people that are going to make sure that no one's hungry. I mean, they are the ones that are gonna change the world. We're reaching for the sky, we're reaching for the sky.